says it's ready for all-out war, delivering a warning after the US announced it was sending additional troops to Saudi Arabia. Today we carried out our war exercises and are ready for any scenario. There is no such thing as a limited invasion against Iran. We will hunt down, punish and destroy any aggressor. Don't miscalculate, do not make a mistake. It's a scenario the U.S. says it wants to avoid. As the president has made clear, the United States does not seek conflict with Iran. That said, we have many other military options available, should they be necessary. We urge the Iranian leadership to cease their destructive and destabilizing activities and to move forward on a peaceful, diplomatic path. Tension has been building ever since the U.S. pulled out of the Iran nuclear deal and reimposed sanctions on Tehran. Then, two major oil sites in Saudi Arabia were attacked last weekend. Yemen's Houthi rebels, who were backed by Iran, claimed responsibility. But Saudi Arabia and the U.S. blame Iran directly. The attack on oil facilities was a criminal act that was carried out by Iranian weapons. That is why we hold Iran responsible for this unprecedented attack. It didn't target Saudi Arabia alone, but the whole world. The impact on oil supplies has a negative impact on all countries. So it was an attack on the whole world's population. The U.S. would prefer to rely on what it calls its maximum pressure campaign against Iran. It applied more pressure on Friday with the announcement of new sanctions to try and further cripple Iran's economy. These are the highest sanctions ever imposed on a country. We've never done it to this level. And it's too bad what's happening with Iran. It's going to hell, uh, doing poorly. Uh, they're practically broke. They are broke. But Iran says the new sanctions would have little effect. Sanctioning Iran's central bank shows U.S. desperation more than anything else, because Americans have already imposed whatever sanctions they could against Iran. These are just the same sanctions under a different name. Trump's next move is to try and drum up support next week, when he meets other world leaders at the U.N. General Assembly. He wants an international coalition to join his sanctions campaign to pressure Iran while avoiding a war Tehran says it's ready for.